What's up guys, Coach Frank back today at the compound for part six, the Beast Mode Barbell Training Series. And today we have for you a full chest workout. Let's get it. All right guys, so we are back today for part six. Yes, you heard that right. This is part six of the complete 12 part muscle building series. Guys, we are so fired up because, you know, I get a lot of people reaching out to me and saying, Frank, you know what? I can't maximize my, my muscle. I can't build my greatest body because I have limited equipment. I train at home and all I have is a barbell or I train at a small you know, private gym and all we have is limited barbell equipment. And I'm sick and tired of hearing that excuse. So the first thing I want you guys to do is I want you to smash that limiting belief because we've shattered it for you and we've shown you the actual solution. So we've, we're creating 12 free workouts, guys, here on YouTube. Everything is absolutely free. I just need your time invested into this. And if you're willing to stick around with me till the end, guys, I'm actually gonna have a special gift that I wanna share with you. We can actually take this workout and add on top of it so you have a done for you an entire program that all you need to do is walk into the gym and execute. So just stick around, guys, if you're with me here today. But I wanna walk you through the workout here, guys, explaining to you each individualized here separately, giving you some short cues, guys, and letting you know why we structured it and did it in the way that we did. Okay, but the first thing I wanna address, guys, is sets and reps, because that's the first question, is how many sets does it take to build muscle? Well, it's not six, it's not 20, six is power lifting, 20 is, high, is, is more of a metabolic kind of athletic training. So with this entire workout, guys, we wanna be training in the hypertrophy muscle building range. So it'll be somewhere between eight to 12. Now your reps, if you're just getting started, first year, year and a half of your muscle building journey, you can stick with three reps, guys. That's gonna be enough and sufficient for you to really progress and make some incredible gains. Now as you continue to advance and progress through your journey, guys, you can then get into four reps, five reps and beyond. But if you've maxed out at five reps, guys, then what I want to do is probably stick around until the end of this series, we're giving you an advanced upper body workout, guys. But in this workout specifically, it's barbell only for our chest, guys. So the first two movements are gonna be done together in a superset. It's gonna be an incline bench press, and then immediately to a plate pinch zvend press. So I wanted to start with the incline bench because in my eyes, more men struggle with building their upper chest than their lower or their middle. So if we can tackle that first, we can then keep the rest for the, for the, the, we can keep the rest for the rest of the workout. Now the plate pinch guys, this may be something new for you. So the first thing you want to do is you want to grab two small plates, five or 10 pounds maximum. The first part of the exercise is to squeeze your hands out in front of you. Really think about pinching, really think about trying to break the, the weights together, right? And that's going to force your chest to contract. Now your internal cue needs to be is, am I actually contracting my chest? Because I can hold my hands out here without my chest doing anything. But the minute I turn my chest on, it's now going to actually fire and begin to contract those muscles. And that's what this movement is. is, is it's really a blood flow, really an activation. Now the Seven press is going to be, as you're standing out here in front of you, I want you to think about pulling the weight in, driving those elbows out to your side. Then the extension, eyes closed. Once again, thinking about driving my elbows together really firing every single last muscle fiber in that chest, guys. This is not a, it's not a heavy load movement. It's not gonna create a, an insane amount of muscle damage. What it's gonna do is gonna fire every single muscle fiber on in your body. So then when you get into the rest of the workout, guys, you're firing on all cylinders. So first superset here, guys, is gonna be an incline bench press immediately into the plate pinch zven press. Our second movement here in this chest workout is gonna be a decline bench. So I want you to go from upright, and then I want you to go to create a, 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 a deficit, a decline, about 30 to 45% in the decline range. This is gonna work a little bit of that lower pec portion. Once again, it's an area that not a lot of guys struggle with, but it's something we need to be cognizant of and we're always training. Now, once we've done our decline bench, we're then we'll move into a flat bench. So at this point, we've hit the chest from three different angles, really using the same movement, but we fully maximize. because you have an upper chest, middle chest, lower chest. Incline bench, decline bench, and then into the bench press. Now the fourth uh, movement here, guys, is gonna be parallel bar dips. Now, if you do not have the dip station here, whether you're training at home, your gym just doesn't have it, I do have an alternative for you, but our dips is gonna be working, once again, it's gonna be working our chest. We're also gonna get a little bit of our shoulders uh, and triceps involved into the movement. And that's gonna be okay. Even though this is a chest workout, the chest, shoulders, and triceps all kind of fire together. Now, if you do not have the dips, what I want you to do is I want you to grab two benches, two boxes, or two tables, and you're gonna create a deficit for you. So you're gonna do deficit push-ups. 
Okay, the deficit needs to become is once you get to parallel, is I want you to go beyond there. So I want you to really think about stretching. So we've contracted it, we've turned it on at the beginning with the plate Sven press, and here we're gonna focus on lengthening it. So muscles contract and lengthen. So by us forcing the contraction at the beginning, we're turning those things on, and now we're gonna force blood flow through that lengthened state. Now the next movement is gonna be, without a barbell, I want you to grab a couple plates, maybe 10 pounds, maybe 25 pounds maximum. It's gonna be plate flies. Right guys, there's not a lot of fly movements we can do with only a barbell, so we need to get a little bit of creative. Uh, in, in putting this workout together. So grab your plates here in your hand and just like you would with a bench or I'm sorry with some dumbbells or just like you would with a machine, your fly is going to be the opening up and extension of your chest. So once again, driving those hands out to the walls beside you, really allowing that chest to really open up as you come down to the bottom. And then your cue to bring it up is going to be thinking about bringing my elbows together. I'm not trying to touch the plates in front of me. I'm trying to squeeze my elbows together. Your, your chest has nothing to do with where your hands are falling. Your chest is going to move your upper arm, which is attaching to your elbow. So if I think about driving my elbows together here at the top, the plates will go where they want to go, but you're going to hold them in your hand. And once again, really think about getting that top peak contraction here at the top. We're going to finish the workout off with just complete push-ups to absolute failure, guys. So I know I told you 8 to 12 reps. When you're doing your push-up, guys, I want you to fully get yourself into failure. And if you want to challenge yourself even more, once you've done failure with a regular push-up, Drop your knees to the floor, just bang out a few more. So guys, that's our chest workout, guys. We're gonna start the workout off with an incline bench press, superset it with a plate pinch, svend press. Really think about contracting and squeezing every single last muscle fiber there in our chest. We're then gonna move into a decline bench, creating a deficit in the, in the decline state. And then we're gonna move into a bench press. Next move is gonna be parallel bar dips or the alternate movement, which is a deficit push-up. Then into our plate flies, thinking about contracting our chest by bringing our elbows together. And then finish the workout off with push-ups to failure, guys. So that's it, guys. That's part six. You know, like I said, this is, this is the complete 12 part beast mode barbell series. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure to go check out parts one through five. Hit that subscribe button so you're notified when seven, eight, nine, ten, and beyond are released. But I told you, if you're willing to stick around me till the end here today, guys, I have a special gift and invitation for you. So click that first link down there in the pinned comment below. Take over to our next video, guys. We're going to show you how to actually take this workout and stack on top of it a lot more. So you have a complete done for you follow along training series that all you need to do is show up and do the work and you'll build your greatest body ever. The Coach Frank Kerr, the Critical Bench Compound, guys, really excited about putting these workouts out for you. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. But Coach Frank, we love you. We'll see you in the next one.